So real quick before the video starts, if you guys enjoy it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more like it, remember to subscribe. I'll be continuing on reincarnation content, be making lots more videos, starting the Life 1 series and all that pretty soon. But anyway, today I am here on Miner's Haven once again to talk about the new superstitious items that were added with the Easter update, and also all of the old superstitious items that got buffed. Now, only three of them actually did get buffed, four of them are still a little bit weaker, but I'll be talking about the ones that did get buffed, maybe even a bit about the ones that didn't get buffed, and then about the new ones. So jumping straight into things, first of all we've got the Delta Phantom which received a small little buff. This thing takes only 10 ores to charge it up now so it's got a lot faster of a charge time. All the ores get a 100 multiplier and the 11th ore that goes into it gets an extra 50 multiplier and is set on fire and this totals to a 5,000 multiplier for that ore. This thing now is essentially a much easier to use, much more forgiving vampire spore but it does light your ore on fire which is pretty easy to deal with to be honest. And honestly I would say this thing is a lot better now. If you're someone who doesn't care about speed this thing is going to be amazing for you and the faster charge time means that even if you do care about speed a little bit this thing can still be pretty good for you that being said i personally am not using this thing still it's not worth it for me it can certainly still be good but for me personally this thing is just it's too slow to be viable still it's a good item definitely better now but i'm not going to be getting any use out of it next up the optic origin this thing received a pretty small buff in that all it does now is not set your ores to zero at nighttime as a base of one multiplier which is all i wanted for this thing this just makes it a solid upgrader. It's just good now. This thing is really good. It's a good upgrader. It also kind of indirectly received a buff with a lot of the new items added because there's a lot of stuff that makes ores neon now. A lot more stuff that can consistently make ores neon than what we had before. So it's a lot more consistent and easy to use now. And there isn't really much else to say about it. It's just a lot better now. And last of the buffs, we have the Havian Mine, which got a small little drop rate increase to make it better. And you can see it's much faster now. It's a lot faster of a mine. All of the other benefits stay intact. So this thing is significantly better now. With that being said, I still don't think it's a very good mine. I'm not using it. I don't think it's really worth using. Now, that may sound confusing at first, but let me explain. It has good ore value. Yes, it has a better drop rate now. It has a lot of benefits. Yes. But all of the benefits that this thing gives you, all of that can be pretty easily avoided or added to the ores later in your actual upgrader lines. Fire is easy to deal with. Poison and all that's easy to deal with. Not hard to get rid of. Upgrading over time, the upgrades are small enough that it doesn't really matter. And there's one mine that just makes this thing completely obsolete and makes the ore value benefit and all that just not matter. And that's the Draconic Glass. Draconic Glass, if you're not aware, has a new buff where it makes blasters a lot better. And using that thing, you're actually just going to make more money off of it than you will using a Havia mine. So because of that, this thing just isn't worth using. It's a good mine, it's got a lot of benefits, but it's still just not worth using. The drop rate honestly isn't actually the biggest problem with it. And I don't really know if there's a good way to make this thing better without just straight up giving it the Draconic Glass effect. I mean, if it gets the Draconic Glass effect, I guess it would be probably really good and worth using. But for the time being, I would say this thing probably not really worth it still. And those are all the old superstitious items that got buffed. I would like to see a few things with the other old superstitious items before we get into the actual new things. I'd love to see the Elysium get a rework. This thing is just bad right now. Out of Outside of the early game, this thing is useless. I'd love to see it get some kind of rework or some change to make it just a little bit more viable. Because right now, it's just trash. The Daystrophy is also completely out class by the void drive now and i'll explain why once we get to the midas blaster but daystrophy is just bad now this thing is a trash upgrader i don't know what you could do to make it better i don't know if extending the time or something makes it better or what but it's just not good right now this thing is real bad so it needs some kind of buff or rework pandora's box needs a complete rework it's just a useless item and Draydon's gauntlet is still too slow to be viable in setups like mine i know the devs are kind of against buffing it because they seem to think that it's one of the strongest superstitious items but the fact that you have to wait eight seconds is a real killer on this item. Just not worth using. If they made it so that the upgrade canceled instead of killing ores, it would be incredible. Maybe lower the base multiplier or something. Make it so that it's not just an instant easy 300 times. Maybe make it so that it's like around a 1 to 200 times or something base multiplier, something like that. But they could just cancel the upgrade instead of killing ores and that would make it infinitely more useful. It would be an incredible upgrader then. Anyway, I'll stop talking about the old superstitious items now. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear as much about those. I'm sure you're excited to hear about the new ones. And we'll start things off with the Vulcan's Wrath. This is a volcano upgrader, has a base multiplier of 50 times, and if you power it with ores by putting them into the top of it, it can go up to a 300 multiplier. It also lights your ores on fire and turns them neon, and this upgrader is just really good. It is a solid one. Neon is nice, fire is easy to deal with, and there are a lot of ways to get ores up into here. So a lot of people think that it needs coal to power. It doesn't right now. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but as of right now, you do not need coal to power it. I assume it's intentional. You can just put whatever ores you want in the top. I found that two breech loaders and one atomium powers it 
near instantly. It's really fast. And this thing is just good. It's just a 300 relatively small multiplier item. And even if you don't power it, it's still 50 times. So it's still pretty good. Absolutely worth going for. It's super, super powerful. Next up, we've got the weakest of the four added superstitious items, the Tyrant's Throne. Now, I hate to say it, but this thing just really isn't all that useful. Now, this thing has a multiplier based on your ore value. Now, I don't know the exact multipliers for the values, but all you need to know is that it goes up the more your ore value goes up. And if your ores are centillions, it'll get a 75,000 multiplier. Caps off at 75k, huge multiplier. I would think for such a multiplier, this thing would be really good, but honestly, the biggest killer is just the size of it. it do it's not that big of a furnace it doesn't look that big but it's just slightly bigger than like a book of knowledge or like devour of nightmares or something you can fit more blasters in a void drive line with uh with a devour of nightmares than this thing and you get way more multiplier if you if you don't use it unfortunately this thing it's bad it gets beat out by 10k multiplier furnaces Next up, we have the Death Cap, which is a really good upgrader. I really like this one. I like the aesthetics of it as well. Nice purple fun guy. And this item has a base multiplier of 130 times. It has the Deadly Spore effect of removing negative effects. And it also gains multiplier for the effects that are on ores. So Flaming Frozen and Wet will all give a 10 boost to the multiplier. Smoking Radioactive and Sparkling will all give a 20 boost to the multiplier. And if your ores have been voided, aka have gone through the void drive, it'll get a 30 boost to multiplier. And if you use that, that's the only effect that it can get. The voided multiplier is really not worth going for in my opinion, but this item is just really solid. It's got the deadly spore effect, relatively small considering the upgrade that it gives, and it gets boosted by ores having status effects, and you're gonna have sparkles probably if you use Angel's Blessing, you're gonna have fire. You can pretty easily get wet and get smoking and radioactive as well. You can really make this thing powerful. It's a, it's just a solid upgrader once again. Has some nice effects, very easy to use has the potential to be really good. And moving on, finally, to easily, by far, the most powerful superstitious item that we've seen, the Midas Blaster. And this thing is just incredible. Now, a lot of people, myself included, were questioning whether this thing would actually beat out the Hydra. I was worried that this thing was just gonna be a worse Hydra Blaster and it wasn't gonna be a good alternative. Boy, was I wrong. Now, first of all, this thing is the exact same size as the Hydra, so if you've already been using that thing, this thing is not hard to work into your setups. And also, look at how large the upgrader beam is. Just for reference and a cool little trick if you're unaware, you can use a Big Bad Blaster inside, and this thing will still hit both ends of the conveyor. So if you're using this thing, you can use a row of Big Bad Blasters and then a row of this thing. So already it has that benefit going for it. It's already relatively small, and it has a really big upgrader beam. So already its benefits are looking pretty good. And then the special effect of it is that it increases in multiplier for each use of it. it has a chance of multiplying by 36 times, 42 times. 216, 252, and 294, and obviously, those are some very massive multipliers. It can be a little bit lower than Hydra Blaster, but this thing has the potential to be way, way better. The multiplier on its own is better, it can fit Big Bad Blasters as well. This thing was designed to be incredible with the Void Drive. And remember how I was talking about how Daystrophy was trash before? Now, a lot of people didn't think that Void Drive was actually better than Daystrophy. And if you had any questions about it, well now, Void Drive is uncontrolled testably better. The Midas Blaster has propelled it into another dimension of usefulness. The Daystrophy has no chance of competing with this thing. It is an incredible upgrader and easily the best superstitious. With that being said though, that was all of the new superstitious items. Some of the old ones got buffed up pretty nicely. The new batch was pretty good as well. I was really happy with them. All of them are really good except for the Tyrant's Throne. Daystrophy is pretty bad now as well, but other whoa, than that- Whoa, 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 wait, Sky, what the fuck? Where the I hell did you come from, Ox? Dude, what are you talking dude, about? Where dude, did you come from? Re-say that. Re-say re what you just said. What? Say that the, that the, that the Daystrophy and the Tyrant's Throne is bad? Is that what you're talking about? Well, dude, I worked so damn hard to get that into the game, and I thought you were my friend. I thought you were going to use my items. I thought you were going to like my items. But no, you're going to say it's bad in front of so many people watching your video. Hey, listen. The, item, the items are bad, Oxenite. They're... Stop, stop. Stop talking. You do not deserve Tyrant's Throne or Day's Trophy because you are such a- Alright, 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 that's I enough. Alright, guys, I, I gotta go, guys. This is- I gotta go. We gotta- we gotta end things here. I think-